Wild is brought to you by Sportsman's Guide. Shop at sportsmansguide.com. Pack your bags and meet me in Saskatchewan as I'm living my dream on a five-day float plane trip with good food, fresh fish, good friends, and amazing fishing. To the fish. Ina Lake Lodge is where it's at as it's only been two days and we've already bagged a yeah. multitude yes. of huge pike. You came with what, three or four yeah. now? I haven't cast yet that I didn't have one. <laughs> and lake trout. Yep, <laughs> we got one. Fish on! Join me as we continue to catch monster fish. Yeah! Have plenty of laughs. Yep. And make some great memories. <laughs> Half rocks. You better say. Hogue Wild is brought to you by Sportsman's Guide. Stretching across vast expansions of Canada's northern regions, the boreal forest is home to a diverse array of wildlife, countless bird species, and pristine lakes as far as the eye can see. It's also where you'll find Ena Lake Lodge, a sanctuary built for the everyday fisherman and outdoor enthusiast. Invited by good friend and co-owner Mike Lombardi, I've landed in Saskatchewan by float plane for a five-day fishing trip of a lifetime. This is a trip that I've wanted to do since I was a kid. It was float plane fishing. Here we go. I cannot wait to get out on the lake. The fishing is on point right now. Looks like it's gonna be a fun, fun trip. Also friends with Mike and sharing on this adventure is good friend Randy Harden. I'm blessed to have a friend named Mike Lombardi. And he knew that I loved to hunt and fish all over the world. So he asked me to come up here and I told him I'd love to. We've already been at it for two days, and the fishing has been phenomenal, to say the least. Day one, we kick off fishing for pike. He's following, just set it. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Randy caught not one, two, or three, but four healthy pike, before I was even able to land my first one. Fish on. Yeah! There we go. Woo! Beauty. After we got our fill of pike, we headed out to deeper waters where we ended our afternoon going after what they call lakers, or otherwise known as lake trout. Man, it wasn't probably 30 minutes. Fish on! Woo! Reeling. You just hold it or yeah, reel? Yeah, reel nice and easy. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Yep. I see color. Bring him to the boat. Hey, up, 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 up. Tip up. Yep, yeah, Woo! get the boat! <laughs> oh. Nice job. Awesome. Way to start the trip. Heck yeah. So nice smoke. first trout on Ena Lake. First lake trout ever. 27 inches. First pike. 37 and a half. That was awesome. Yeah. As the sun rose on day two, we decided to head out to Whirlwind Lake to fish new uncharted territory. Never experienced something like this, but the fact that I got invited four months yeah. later, we're yes. here, and this trip is super special to me. Whirlwind Lake had no shortage of fish. Yes, yes. yes. That is a half fish. As we pulled them in left and right, we were able to keep the smaller ones for some of the most amazing shore lunch. Yeah, so good. Good. With pike in the boat and pike in our bellies, we picked up where we left off and continued our afternoon hunting for lakers. To the fish. There is nothing like it to be able to go fishing right out your front door and then hop in a float plane and go to some completely different lake. Some of these places don't get fished that much except for the people that come up here to these lodges. And this lodge is out in the middle of nowhere. So if you don't know where you're going, and if you don't have an invitation, you're in the wrong spot because <laughs> this place is amazing. We're headed for some big lake trout. A lake trout, eh? Yeah. Okay, Lucas, this is you over here. Are we ready now? You can go down anytime you want. How far? Lucas, go 160. Going down 160. Lots of times I'll change speed too, so I'll slow it down, or I'll speed it up because they, they'll they chase it and follow, follow, follow. But as soon as it moves differently, that's when they usually hit. Are we bottom, you think? That's bottom. Yeah, mine's tapping. Yeah, that's bottom. Why haven't you caught a fish yet, Luke? Because I don't have a hat like Randy's. <laughs> Arabian Nights! <laughs> You know, my hat was a little special hat. It covers the back of my neck. I got it from a place in Brazil that, where I went fishing, and I'm pretty sure that Lucas had some music for it, too.
Tell me that ain't good stuff right there. What was the music? I'm not sure what he called it, but he... he. What did you call it, Lucas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, my hat Lucas has on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of covers up your neck. <laughs> oh. Bottom. Something on there. Yeah, that. Keep the tip up. Yep. Oh. We got one. <laughs> Woo! Fish on! Come on, baby. Heck yeah. Man, when he hit, he hit. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on, dog. Just barely up. Right there. Right there. Yes! Slish slosh, baby. Yeah! Oh, yes, yes, sir! Lay in there and grind. Right? Woo! I got this. That is awesome. Pull your trip. back out. 36 and a half. 36 and a half. Nice. Nice. I love it. That yeah. was nice. Yours was what? 34 inches? 34. 34. Nice. <laughs> good, work, good job, Darian. Awesome, man. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. That was a good grind. Yeah. Hog Wild is brought to you by Sportsman's Guide. Shop at sportsmansguide.com. Rockman Waterproof. Stackable, adaptable, and 100% dry. Ozark Ag. Poultry and Farm Construction. Kanadi, relive your greatest adventures. And by Wild Gear. Shop at wildgear.us. It's been a successful day here in Saskatchewan as we come to the final hours of day two. Got about, what you say, about 45 minutes before the plane comes? Okay. And before heading in, we dropped one more time in hopes to give Randy the opportunity to regain the lead for the biggest fish of the day. Here he comes. Got him on. Coming up. There we go. Yeah. He's nice, man. He's at 80. He ain't coming. Yes. He's what? Big fish. <laughs> Big fish. That's what we want to hear. Big fish. I see color. He's coming up. Baby. Yeah. Right up the there. The last one, baby. Stuff. And now for the moment of truth. Thirty five and a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like you didn't get me today, Randy. Better luck next time. There you go. He's out. Good work, brother. Nice Good job. Work. Good work. Well done. Well done. Lots of pike, big pike, big trout. I have the biggest pike and the biggest trout so far, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Woo! What? On the Come TV. on now. I said yes, sir. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, oh, get yeah. your wallet out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got, I think I got credit. Coming in. Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. It's like doing a combat landing. After a great day on the water, we headed back to shore to meet up with our pilot, Hap, to take us back to the lodge to end the evening beachside. I love talking to Hap. Hap is the pilot that's been flying everybody in and out of these small lakes. Have a good day, catch lots of big fish. And uh, I just started talking to him, put the headset on. I noticed he had the headset unplugged, and I was like, hmm, maybe he doesn't want to talk to people, but I'm going to fix that. So I literally took my headset off and plugged it in, saw him kind of looking out of the corner of my eye, and I just started chatting away at him. This guy's got so much knowledge. He's been flying for 52 years up here in the bush and was telling me all sorts of great stories about flying people in here and how the water is so calm that when you're flying, he said that's sometimes the most dangerous way to land is when the water is so dead calm, you can't really tell how close you are to the water and that's when a lot of people crash. He says he'd love to, to land when there's at least a ripple where he can see where the water is. It tells him how far the ground is away from it, which is pretty cool. Look at this. A little bit of margarita. Yeah. What we got here? Margaritas. Margaritas. Ina style. All right. Nothing more says top-notch accommodations than stepping off an airplane to have a custom drink put in your hand and an outdoor fish fry to satisfy an empty stomach. 
Fresh fish. Yeah. Atlantic jumbo prawns. Grab a plate, make yourself up a taco, and enjoy. As the sun went down, we hit a few golf balls, played a little cornhole, and just had some good old country music and camaraderie around a fire. This is what Ina is all about, and I couldn't wait to see what tomorrow was going to bring. You guys ready to go yet? Yes. Man, I've been fishing all morning. Oh, here comes the town, finally. <laughs> On a gorgeous day up here at the Ena Lake Lodge. And today we're gonna switch it up in Mike Lombardi. The guy that actually brought me up here, I wanna go fishing with him today. So we're gonna be out here, right outside the lodge here at Ena Lake Lodge. And uh, just gonna see if we can get into trout today. That's all we're going for is lake trout. It's what they call lakers up here. So let's go fishing. A short trip out and Mike gives me a quick lesson on his favorite bait for these trout. It's been tried and true over the years, but number two, it resembles the whitefish. That's one of the only bait fish in here they eat, is whitefish. So that's it. Right there, pretty plain and simple. Love it. Ready? Yeah, man. One over. Let's go to 190 and 220, 240. Okay. Even at the right depth, with their favorite lure on the line, so far, they were no takers. Maybe 130, Lucas? Yep. Not seeing enough uh, fish here, so we're gonna move on. Okay. okay. And the fish aren't cooperating. Presentation, whatever. All this. Yeah. 260? Jeez. All right. Patience is something I've learned over many years of not being patient. Now we're coming to a drop off. If there's not fish at the bottom of this hill, they're not here. I just don't think they're eating. It's all fishing. If it doesn't work for a little while, you try something different. Despite changing baits, location, and depths, our efforts weren't enough for a trout to bite for the first good part of the morning. And though I thought we'd be fishing them all day, we decided to change strategies for the afternoon. All right, let's change it up. We're gonna go throw some pike, see if we can get that, that same little bay that we were catching some pike in before, and just get our feelings back in the catching. And then it starts trawling a little bit more too. So here we go. Hogue Wild is brought to you by Sportsman's Guide. After a slow morning of trout, we switched gears to the shallows in hopes to boost our spirits on some pipe catch. Should be fish here. Wow, this looks nice. Seems fishy. Oh, he whiffed at it. Right, right there, right Lucas, to your left. I'm, dude, I'm facing one too. Yep, yep. Oh, a little bitty. All right, fish in the boat. A little dart. Let's just see if we can get back in there. Got him on. Got him on. Nice. Not bad. That's a nice one. <laughs> one, <laughs> one foot of water. Whee! They get bigger. A little short lunch size. Perfect. Right in that 25 inch range, so perfect for short lunch. Fish tacos. <laughs> Heck yeah. Let's get some big ones. Come on. Come on. Come on. They're liking that spoon. Fish on. Oh, yeah. There he is. There he is. Fine. All right. Finding them. It's great, man. Nice one, man. Yeah. Oh. Get on that. Mike's killing it. Yeah. I'm have to switch up and start throwing what he's throwing, man. Yes. Oh. He came back. Oh. Come on up. Not too shabby. Good job, brother. Way better. Way nice. better. Heck Good yeah. Way. I love it when they come back for seconds. <laughs> Put a measure on it. We're going to find out. 34. Beautiful. Awesome. OK. Ready. Love it. Nice fish here. That's a great fish, Lodge. man. Pike is an amazing game fish to catch, especially when they're in abundance of them. In overcrowded environments, when food becomes scarce, a pike's cannibalistic tendencies will prey upon smaller ones to survive, which adds to the excitement when reeling them in. Let's catch some fish. That hole right ahead. There's a fish in there. There you go. There's something there that wants to eat. It's going to eat this. Ooh, right here, right here. Got it. Oh, it's a baby. Here's this baby if you want to get him. As I reeled in this small pike, I got to witness firsthand the temperament of these fish when a bigger one is nearby. Oh, there's see the other one chasing him? <laughs> Woo! Woo! The double! You got it! I got a tipper! I meant, I meant a, a 
baby fish on my hook. Oh. And then this big fish come up and ate the little fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. So awesome. Oh. Dang, that's yeah. so cool. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah. You could see the whole thing happen. You can't make that up. <laughs> that was incredible. Oh. Insane. <laughs> that was so great. Well, this was the bait. Exactly. <laughs> Look where he had him. Oh, perfect. He wasn't like letting right go. There. Look at that. Yep. Nice. We'll, Check we'll get out. a measurement. Oh, gosh. Yeah. The picture with him. 32. 32 incher. 32. Smack that little hammer handle. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The double. Oh, so yeah. cool. <laughs> the best bait double ever. It goes to show you, you caught a 32 inch pike that didn't have a hook in its mouth. <laughs> That's how determined they are to eat and not let go. Insane. I mean, crazy. This is just fantastic. The last cast each year. Oh, man. Good day of pike fishing. We did everything we could to get some trout, but it just wasn't our day. We weren't eating. We're biting on nothing, so we're gonna try going up to uh, Whirlwind tomorrow and try our hand up there again. We had some good luck up there with trout fishing, so it's gonna be awesome. Can't wait to get back. Hey everybody, this is Lucas Hogue. I wanna thank you all for tuning into my show, Hogue Wow. Be sure to check out my new single and current releases on Apple Music, Pandora, and Spotify. And of course, lucashogue.com. While you're there, check out the store and all our tour schedule and see if we'll be performing in a city near you. And I can't thank you all enough for watching Hogue Wild. Here at Ena Lake Lodge, it's my final day of fishing and I'm headed back to Whirlwind Lake. Just a quick float plane trip away to meet up one last time with Darian to hopefully put us on some nice trout. Beautiful day up here at Whirlwind Lake. Darian found some new spots to go. Found some new pike stuff, found some new trout stuff. So, it'll be fun. <coughs> All right. Let's get some fish. I'm a big lake trout guy. I love the chase of them. I love hunting them, and it's a grind, but when you get into them, you get into them. If I could fish anywhere in the world, I'd still be fishing lake trout. Trying to occupy our time a little bit with chips and drinks and things like that, because it's easy to get lulled to sleep going about 1.5 miles an hour. Oh, that's a fish. 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 Yeah. Don't f this up, Lucas. I know. <laughs> it's been known to happen. <laughs> Come on, buddy. What have we got? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Perfect. Got one. 36. We get him back in the water. Back on. All right. Love it. Let's get another one. Let's catch his big brother. Fish on. Come on, boy. Seventy. Thirty. Let's see color. Really big trail. Oh, really big trail. Yeah! Woo! Oh! <laughs> yeah, man. Are you kidding? Look at this. Nice. He's a toad. Heck yeah. I'd say every bit of 38. 38, yeah. Yeah, 38. 38. Last trout of the day. Last trout. Look at that. Dude. Good, yeah. What a pig. Got the rolls on top. Man, alive. Good job, brother. <laughs> Darian knew exactly where he wanted to be, and he told us we just had to be patient and put the time in, and he was right. Kept going around and around, and man, they'd hit and hit, and it was awesome. We caught two great trout, 38-incher and a 36-incher. I mean, that's probably my fifth trout of my entire life, so. Good stuff. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure yeah, fishing with you, brother. Hopefully we'll do it again sometime. And yeah. tonight, have a drink or two around the fire. Of course. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds good. It was 
summer, senior year. Didn't know nothing, had no fear. It was stupid high, but we played it cool. Laying around my buddy's pool. Well, Andy's house was the place to be. The girls showing off their new two piece, yeah. One stood out and shook my world. She wasn't like them other girls. Her skin shimmered in the bright sunshine. Then I saw her in a different light. Never thought of her like that before. Started hanging out there a whole lot more. I said, Oh, oh, I was sitting on her. Oh, oh, all summer long. Couldn't care less. Thought it was wrong. That's the year I fell in love with my best friends. Mom. The trip. Time to say goodbye. Doesn't get any better than this up here, man. Had an amazing time. Lots of fish, lots of good times, lots of memories. Can't wait to get back here one day. Time to load her up. I said, oh, oh, I was sitting on her. Oh, oh, all summer long. Couldn't care less. Thought it was wrong. That's the year I fell in love.